Oh my god. Sorry, no. Hey guys, it's Michaela, and welcome back to another Ace Attorney video. The time has finally arrived. We are about to embark on a brand new journey in a brand new case, case three of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. And I could not be more stoked. Y'all know I love a new case. I love a clean slate. I love a fresh start and I'm ready to see some new characters, okay? I've been enjoying the little cameos, the little check-ins from our old friends, okay? But I want a case with no Larry and no old bag. That's all I'm asking. This case is titled Recipe for Turnabout. It had a photo of Maya in a little chef's apron, a little baker moment, and I cannot wait to see what it's about. And if you missed the last video, definitely go watch that because we concluded the second case, Stolen Turnabout, and it was a solid ending. It really was. And it was a great way to tie up all of the loose ends of that case before moving into a new one. So with that being said, the candle of the day is Lavender Marshmallow by Bath & Body Works. And you guys, I am most curious in today's video, especially to see how I'm feeling on the whole case three syndrome thing. Okay. We remember the first, the third case from the first game, which was, it was, it was fine. We remember the third case from the second game. That was, that was a case. Um, I'm excited to see if the third game, third case is, if it follows in its brother and sister's footsteps, okay? If it follows in its younger sibling's shadow, I'm so excited to see if we end up loving it or hating it. I've already seen some mixed feelings in the comments, so I'm excited to see for myself. I'm sure we're gonna have a great time because we always have a great time. But without further ado, let's find out for ourselves, shall we? I have a coffee with me here today. I hope you guys are sipping on something just as wonderful and cheers. Y'all, I have been having such a good time filming content lately. Like all of the video games I'm playing right now, I am loving so much, but I still have other types of content I wanna post at some point. I'm thinking about actually at some point later this year doing like a Lost Files week where I take a week off from video games and I post a bunch of videos I've had filmed for a while that I just haven't gotten to. But until then, I'm literally having the best time playing video games. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying the videos as well. But just know that there is more stuff coming in the future. We're just a little game heavy right now. Speaking of games, okay? We are in Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations, of course. Also, I love being able to see all three games just stacked on top of each other right now. I know that's not always gonna be the case. Although Apollo Justice is a trilogy and Chronicles is a duology. Anyways, episode three, recipe for turnabout all right part one investigation now the last part one investigation we had was over three hours long i'm prepared i'm prepared i don't know what we're about to get into but i'm ready for anything okay Jeez. we'll see how long this ends up being wait what why are we starting in a courtroom what the heck oh god Oh God! Oh God! What? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a lot already. What is happening? What is happening? Is that Phoenix? Why is Phoenix, why is Phoenix roofing somebody? Why is glitter coming from Phoenix's fingertips? This is not, this is not Maximilian Galactica. I don't understand what's happening. Wait, wait, coffee? Godot, come out here. Why is pain here? What is happening? Okay. I'm so confused. Who is the defendant? What are we? Hello? Hello? What is happening? What is literally going on? No! 
Was that a flashback? Was that a flash forward? Was that a dream? What is going on? Same, Maya, except for when we start like that. I don't, Maya, I don't want to integrate Zavari into our vocabulary. Can we undo that? And while I'm thinking about it, one or actually a couple of you guys commented, <laughs> I can do something about making sure it doesn't skip unseen text. Okay, this is text skip. Full auto skip. Okay. Uh, this isn't, this isn't, uh specifying that it's unseen text. We have data, we have BGM, SE, whatever the heck that is, screen shake, vibration, and text box. I don't see anything that says skip unseen text or don't skip unseen text. So if y'all could clarify, that'd be great. Anyways. Mistletoe cake? Ew. Period. Cute, but like, I'm sorry. Gumshoe? What is happening, bro? No, because a case starting off this chaotic is never a good thing. Hi, Gummy Gums, what is going on? Happy New Year. You wanna? I'm dead. Here's to another fruitful year of lawyer police cooperation, because that's what we've had in the past. <laughs> I have it. Okay, I don't, y'all, no, I'm just gonna sit back. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Keep, keep, keep at the drawing board, Maya. What? Gumshoe? And why am I in a magazine? I don't want to be in a magazine. I'm good. I don't need to be in a magazine. Why am I in a magazine? Okay. Did I miss something? The only poisoning I'm aware of was in the first case, and Phoenix was not an attorney at the time. In fact, he was an insane person for eating the necklace with the poison in it. Piece by piece, bite by bite. So what is this about? Defense attorney right trounced? Why was I trounced? What? Oh, he must have been being played by somebody other than me because I would never. So that was not a dream nor a flash forward. That was very much just what happened yesterday. Mr. Wright must take full responsibility for the ruling in this case? Oh my God, Phoenix. Phoenix, we've done the amnesia thing. We've done the traumatic brain injury thing. What? Are, why are we not remembering now? Because that's an old story at this point. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, gumshoe. Yeah, okay, Jesus Christ. Guys, this was like a week ago. <laughs> what? Winston, perfect timing because I don't know what's going on, baby. Do you? What's happening? Guys, Winston's come to tell us the truth. What happened? Really? That's wild. Let's see if he's right. A phony? That's what Winston just said. Oh my God. 
Wait, no, BFFR though. Like somebody dressed up as me and pretended to be me and then stole my identity and then went and lost a case? Bro, what? Wait, what? That's so weird. Okay, so this was actually literally a month ago, a month and a day. Well, that's a, that's a huge issue, Gumshoe, because I apparently have a doppelganger to start. Actually, it's not, because it wasn't me. <laughs> okay. I literally. Literally. Y'all, like, genuinely, is this where Godot comes in? I'm asking hypothetically. You know what? This is a great time as a general reminder to everybody watching this video. Please keep my comments spoiler free. Sometimes I ask you guys hypothetical questions. I don't want the answer. If it has not explicitly been stated by a character in the game, happened in the game, been on the screen, I don't want to know about it. I don't want to know about it. That being said, Godot, right? Godot walks in in a mask shades, all the things. We can't see that boy's face, right? In fact, is he in the court record? Probably not. He is. Okay. Good deal, right? We don't know who this is, but he seems to know me. Okay. His hair is very different than Phoenix's, but it, maybe he could, you know, gel it up to kind of be similar. Did Godot cosplay as Phoenix and then go get me a guilty verdict to look back? Who is this man? Is he my long lost brother? And he's trying to get his revenge somehow? I don't know. But this might be the case we find out who Godot is because that's my only thought as to who would be pretending to be me. Um, you can't do that. Too late. <laughs> The first case of the new year cannot be a case that happened last year, Maya. That's not how it works. Have y'all ever heard of double jeopardy? Like the actual real kind of double jeopardy. <laughs> I mean, sure, you can appeal it if that's what you're saying, but you can't retry just because... Guys, there has to be a reason to take it to the appellate court to try to get the trial court's ruling overturned. Is there a reason? <sighs> what case am I taking? The case was already decided. Okay, sure, no problem. I'm so confused. A little too much, apparently. But they didn't entrust it to me. They entrusted it to somebody else. I don't know. And also, more importantly, how could they impersonate you successfully? Like, how would nobody have noticed that that's not you? I don't... I don't... I don't understand. What the heck? Okay. We have our attorney's badge. We have our Magatama. We have our magazine clipping. An article from December 5th says I was trounced and my client was found guilty. We have Maya, Mia, Godot, and Gumshoe. Okay. Maya. Top. Yeah, who even is the defendant? To meet me, I think they would be jumping at the chance considering they've never met me before. It was a fake, a fraud, a phony. I'm dead. I don't even know how to pronounce that. It's obviously Phoenix backwards, but like, Zin Eo? Sure. <laughs> Okay, so that's been established. Do you have a non-twin brother though? Because some siblings, as we've seen in past cases, can look quite similar. 
Oh God. He was. As if Gumshoe has a personal stake in this case. Who is this defendant? <laughs> okay. It's an oddly specific example. Maya, where did that come from? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? That was so incredibly random. I have not heard of Phoenix Gumshoe Ship, and I'm sorry, that's one I cannot get behind. That's just, that's just weird. Phoenix and, and Godot, I could see. Phoenix and Edgeworth, obviously. Phoenix and Gumshoe? No, absolutely not. Okay, Maya, I regret to inform you, you were not even the slightest bit helpful. Let's begin our examination with Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Period. Period. <laughs> the Gatewater Hotel, you say? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Never heard of that before. How interesting. Gatewater Land. Love it, love it, love it. Y'all, I love a theme park. A little too much. Like, I don't know if you guys saw that video going around of those people that got stuck upside down for like 30 minutes. That was uh, that was horrible, right? Obviously. Doesn't scare me enough to stop me from going on roller coasters. I love a roller coaster. I just love the thrill. Ah, I love it. Yes, yes, we will. Yes, we will. For Mia. Guys, does your cat or dog ever put their body in the most inconvenient position? Because Winston's whole head is resting on my foot right now, and I really want to move it, but I can't. It's quite unfortunate. <laughs> oh my god, I almost didn't get a candle today because Frankie was sitting in front of my closet where I keep them. I had to move him. I felt so bad. Okay. I think that's it for here. Let's go to the detention center if we can. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get, get this stuff out of the way. Also, thank you so much to everybody who gave their feedback in that post I made a couple weeks ago now, I think, of whether y'all prefer me show everybody everything or not. That was actually incredibly helpful and insightful, especially those of you who love comments and everything. Thank you for voting. Thank you for everything. We're presenting, okay? Of course I still have the badge. Why would I not have my badge? Why? Oh, okay, this again. Yes, Maya. Correct, correct. So she's still on that, I see. Maya, are you lying? <laughs> oh, okay. Of course you can't tell me about your own Magatama. Sure. What about this magazine clipping? Right? How crazy is that? Not true, actually, not true. No, literally, literally. This is not a, a comedy show, dude, this is my life. Apparently, I, I basically did, Maya. I basically did go into show business at this point. Tell me about yourself. Uh-huh. <laughs> Phoenix, that's as close as she can get. You're having a bit of trouble right now. Ugh, and you know what I just keep thinking about every now and then? I want to know about Misty Faye and her tea so badly. I don't know if or when we will find that out. I don't know if there's a case that's out already that's covered it. But I cannot wait to get into Misty Faye, okay? I'm... I want to know so bad. Poor thing. <sighs> Can you blame the girl, truly? Of course she did. She freaking came in clutch, too. That's so sad. Except for when she comes through Pearl, but you were kind of busy when that was happening. Like, you know, being held hostage and everything. Exactly! 
Oh, Maya, it's already happened, like, many times. No, like, many times, Maya. <laughs> oh, well, okay. You know? Phoenix, if you can, now is the time, babe. Now is the time. <sighs> Guys, this has to be a relative of Phoenix. He's impersonating Phoenix to get back at him for something that happened in the past. They look similar enough for him to have gotten away with it. And, and now he's here to torment me. There, there has, that has to be it. I also can't wait to get into that. I hope that's this uh, case, but we'll see. With the coffee, the point, like it has to be Godot, bro. It has to be. Last but not least. Right? Which makes me think, who is the defendant? <laughs> okay, that's everybody. Now we can officially move, bless you Winston, to the detention center. Mannequin! Oh, I missed him! Hi, Mannequin! Oh, God. I didn't do anything. Maya! God! Okay. Oh god, who is it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? That's not Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause y'all fun fact oh, we've talked about this many times. Y'all know about my misophonia or whatever it's called, where I have literally no facial recognition ability whatsoever. That is is that Maggie? That's Maggie, right? That's Maggie, right? I think that's Maggie. Maggie? No, it kind of doesn't look like Maggie though. The, the nose looks a little different and the eyes too. Wait, do I know her? Y'all, I know. <laughs> Y'all, this is a really huge accomplishment. Like, when I remember somebody's face or name, it's actually a really big deal. Wait! Maggie? What are you doing here? I mean, I know what you're doing here. Oh, no. That's why she's so pissed. Oh, God. Hi, Maggie. Yeah. Maggie Bird. The one and the only. Very cute outfit, Maggie. Yes. Yes. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> okay, Maggie, I need you to take a breath so I can get a word in because it's not what you think. There's been a huge misunderstanding. Oh, God. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, okay, so we're all caught up. Like, dude, so many repeat offenders in this game. It's kind of wild. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You seem like you mind quite a bit, actually. Correct. Okay. Great attitude, Maggie. <laughs> Great attitude. Okay, I want to examine first because I just need to talk to my man. Hey, King. Love you, Miss. Yes. You're doing so good. No, he's doing a great job, Phoenix. Do not talk about him like that. Smile for the camera. You're on candid camera. Okay, cool. Had to get that out of the way. Hi, man, again. All right. We have Maggie in here now, a waitress. <gasps> Wait, what? How did she go from a cop to a waitress? Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just missing the timeline here. Wasn't she like good? I don't, okay. A waitress at Tris Bien was found guilty of murder. Tris Bien, three good, was found guilty of murder thanks to the phony me. Okay, interesting, interesting. Let's chat. 
It's actually a really cute uniform. <laughs> well, Maya's asking the real questions. You were fired? Oh, that's so unfortunate because she literally didn't do anything. Okay, period, period. Bigger and better things, babe. I love that. I love thinking of life like that. Like, don't take it too seriously, bro. It's like, yeah, I was fired from being a cop. So in my second act, I will be taking upon the role of waitress. Like, that's hilarious. That's a hilarious way to move through life. I think it makes life a lot more enjoyable. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, she probably makes money. Money. I loved being a server when I was a server. I worked at TGI Fridays and at Olive Garden, and I made a bank, okay? Especially for that time. The owner, Mr. Armstrong. Okay, new character just dropped. I'm sure we'll be speaking to Mr. Armstrong straight away. <laughs> so what happened, Maggie? Tell me what happened. The third of last month, December 5th? Wasn't the trial? Oh, well, yeah, it was the next day because that's how it works here. Okay. <laughs> So the murder happened at, oh, I don't, I feel like I'm not pronouncing that well at all. Like, I want to like roll my arc like tres bien, but like, that's probably not, I don't know. Y'all, y'all, I'm sure y'all will tell me in the comments I'm mispronouncing it. Let me know. We're just going to call it tres bien for now and just sound ungodly American-like because I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, tres bien. Okay. Okay. We can go tres bien. We'll, we'll do tres bien for now. <laughs> I hope I don't sound stupid. I might. That's okay. It's a restaurant where good service and friendly smile are always included. A friendly smile. Not multiple friendly smiles, just one. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. There were two men at the table, both drinking coffee. Okay. Okay, and then somebody sprinkled glitter from their fingertips, of course, as one does. Okay. Must have been a really strong poison. Him then and why are you on trial for it okay anyways she wouldn't have had a motive to kill her. in theory in theory okay guys is that Godot like please I don't know I don't know okay so you saw him put the poison in there right Maggie, no, you tell me, because aside from me forking up the trial, why were you even arrested? Why did they think you were involved at all? No. Okay, sure. Hmm. Where did the other man go afterward? What customer? The victim was sitting alone at his table the whole time. Okay. Oh, I see. What customer though? I guess there was a third person. So, okay. There's the victim. There's the phony Phoenix. And then there's Mr. Armstrong who testified that the victim was alone at the table. A customer who testified the victim was alone at the table. And then Maggie who saw phony Phoenix. Or saw the murderer. Okay. This is getting a little hard to keep things straight. But we're, we're, we're working. We're working. 
Bro, I did not fail you. Can you please stop saying that? I literally wasn't even there. Then why didn't you call your granny, Maggie? I'm sure you have her phone number. What? Seriously, with the bottles of poison again? I cannot. I cannot. What is up with this game and poison? <laughs> Why? Maggie, we don't have time to pass out when we just witnessed a murder happen because that's how you get yourself in these situations. You gotta stay alive and awake and alert, Maggie. Please. Oh my lord. Okay, I can't wait to see what the poison looks like. It better not be on a necklace. That's all I'm saying. It better not be on a freaking necklace. Could y'all imagine Dahlia Hawthorne strikes again? Please. Yeah, that's not great. Because why would Armstrong lie on Maggie, her her boss, unless there's beef between them we don't know about? Oh, God. The other guy. So you took the coffee to the two men. Was it just one coffee you took? In the music industry, okay. An earpiece and an emo musician's look about him. I regret to inform you that could be many types of careers, but okay, we'll go with musician. A sample CD on the table. Okay, that, that we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. It's the mixtape for me. A band. Okay, what was the band's name, Maggie? MC something. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, it's the MC Hammer references for me. Guys, please. Please. <laughs> okay, yeah. So we have victim, killer, okay? Then we have Armstrong customer Maggie. Interesting. Where did the killer go while well, she was unconscious? Oh, God. So much to unpack here already. A young man, well built like the victim. Okay, so the killer and the victim were of similar builds. And that's all we get. Huh. Yes, it's real. Y'all, Maggie's face looks slightly different here. Like, I don't know. It, it doesn't, it kind of looks like Maggie, but it also kind of doesn't a little bit. Huh. What? Maggie! Yep, she did. She did. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you for that. Maggie, I don't, I don't need your connections right now, babe. You need mine. Like, okay. All you can do is help me out with the menu at Trebien. Jeez. What about this magazine clipping? Any thoughts? It is. Okay. Oh my god, my picture's not here. Of course, the one time I need a profile here, I don't have one. Like, that obviously looks like me, but it also kinda doesn't. Like, it, there's a weird, I know this is a video game, so obviously this was digitally created, but it literally looks like somebody, well, duh. I was gonna say somebody like drew half of my face and head and then just, duplicated it and flipped it around and then put it together so it looks kind of weird but also duh that's how it works i don't know i don't know 
<laughs> See, like Maggie doesn't look weird, I guess, because her hair is not perfectly symmetrical on both sides. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's what's really making Phoenix just, yeah. Interesting. Did I have an assistant? Because if not, you know it wasn't me. I don't work alone. <laughs> I either work with real people or ghosts, but either way, I am not alone. I'm gonna get you cleared of uh, this crime. Do I ever talk like that, Maggie? Ever. Ever. Literally. Hello. Okay, that's helpful, I think. So a bit taller and a little bit more shady. In a weird voice. In a funny accent. Yeah, correct. Maggie, I don't own those character traits. Please, please, please. My God. Guys, is this freaking Godot? Oh my Lord. Okay. That's what I'm saying too. Who, what judge do they have? They might've had that other judge. They had to, cause Udgy would never do me like that. Then again, it was Udgy. He was in, oh Udgy, why would you do this to me? He's had it out for me since day one. Of course, Winston Payne's not gonna say anything. No, <laughs> like this is not grounds for a retrial at all. Hey, your honor. I was bamboozled into having a defense attorney who I thought was a different defense attorney, but was actually not the defense attorney I thought it was. Can I get a retrial? No, that is not grounds for a retrial at all. If, if he was not a defense attorney, perhaps, but was he a defense attorney? Was he an attorney? He doesn't even have to be a defense attorney. Was he an attorney? If he was an attorney, I don't think it matters. If he was a fraud, I mean, I don't even know. I don't know how that's ever happened before. That's kind of crazy. Yes. Maggie, I don't know because I don't even know what the fork happened, dude. I have so many people to talk to before I can give you an answer to that question. Correct. Okay, here we go with the freaking apartment building. Yes, Maggie. <laughs> yes, Maggie. Yes, Maggie. Thank you. <laughs> I love, and I know it's because this is a new game, but hearing her say all of this again, it's like, dude. will baby you will thank you Maya <laughs> okay I mean fair but like this is actually a very interesting case I'm actually quite excited about this thank you would love to go investigate myself correct will do. I'm going to tell Mr. Armstrong quite a few things, actually. Okay. So that was all the presentation of the evidence. Present some profiles. Listen, that's the goal. That's the freaking goal. Okay. Nothing to say about that. Actually, wait, what did, what did she just say? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's new. All I can tell you about now is info about ex-cons or the clientele of Trebian. Wow, what, what, what diversity? That's funny. Okay. Nothing about Gado. Got you. He does that. 
And that's why Gumshoe's so pissed, too. That all makes perfect sense. What is French cuisine, truly? Like, I know, like, okay, this is probably gonna sound so uneducated, but, like, respectfully, I'm not well-traveled, so we're working on that. But, like, the only type of French cuisine I can think of is, like, pastries? Croissant? Okay. What else do French people eat? What do French people eat that's like different? There's like a staple that I feel like is leaving my mind right now. But if somebody were like, do you like French food? I wouldn't know what to say because I don't really know what French food is. You know what I mean? <laughs> my favorite food ever is Asian food. Oh my God. I could eat Asian food breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No problem. No problem. Now, to be fair, I'm a very picky eater. So when I say Asian food, we're talking chicken fried rice. We're talking hibachi. We're talking... I'll, I'll just take some white rice and some teriyaki chicken. Now, listen, I'm just being honest. Maybe that's Americanized Asian food, but I'm going to fork up some Asian food every time. Macho Maggie Purr. Winston just brought in his duck. Every single one of them, Maya. She was the originator. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> yes, Maya. Okay, that's everything. Sweet. Make sure nothing new popped up and we're good to move. Before we go to Trebien, let's go to the Criminal Affairs Department. The blue badger has a girlfriend! Oh, thank you, Winston. Uh, who is that? Probably. Done. Maybe I was supposed to come here first. <laughs> oh, 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 the kill. Wait, what? What? Okay, regardless, I'm so sorry. Who is this? I mean, one of them, yes. Hi, Chief. Yes, Chief. Who's the pink badger next to him? Thank you. <laughs> the pink badger? I want one. I want one in real life. I hope that exists. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to buy it. I have to have one. That's adorable. Oh my god. The lore. I can't. They're married. Mr. and Mrs. Badger. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can I zoom into that? I I need to see it. Can I zoom in? Yes. Guys. <laughs> what the heck? This is hilarious. Oh my God. I, I love it. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. That's that's the best addition to this game so far, truly. Yep. Yep, still a calendar. Yep. That's okay, Phoenix. Honest mistake. Hi, Chief. Yeah, just doing chiefly things. <sighs> I don't know, getting money? <laughs> Somehow. Oh, God. Master, ma <sighs> you know what? No. I'm leaving that in the past. We don't know. Nope, we don't have time for, for Ron to have become a bank robber. Nope. Nope. I'm dead? Wait, who just got onto the chief? Not a detective getting onto the chief. That's crazy. Listen, somebody's finally speaking up. That's hilarious. Also, detective, you're one to talk. Okay. I mean,
mean, okay. The thing about humorous messages like that is like, does it work more than a very clear, straightforward, stern message? I was walking outside the other day and I saw a sign that said, skateboarding is cool. Just not here. Okay. But like, does that have a better effect on preventing skateboarding than do not skateboard here. It's illegal. You know what I mean? I feel like that would actually be better. I don't know. Just a thought. I'm not a marketing expert, but just a thought. <laughs> I mean, die the old fashioned way of old age is funny. Like that's funny when you're trying to, you know, have people drive safely. I will, I will give it that. <laughs> yep. I mean, we've literally never seen anyone here pretty much. So yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. And I think that might be it. I, I love this so much. You guys like this just made my whole day. Okay, sweet. Back to the detention center. And now we will move to Trebia. Oh, I'm <gasps> it's stunning. I love it here. Oh my god. Oh god, not the police tape. Oh lord. Oh god. Oh, I love it though. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I mean, it, it is a French restaurant. Like, they're, they're romantic there. Yeah, Maya, I think the restaurant's a little busy being the scene of a crime. Oh. Is that Mr. Armstrong on the wall there? <sighs> no, Ron, that's not what that means. <laughs> okay, wait, I... No, I need to slide. Oh, thank God. I I love this. I love this so much. Okay, let's start over here. We'll start with this. Nope, we won't because there's no dialogue. Okay, okay. We'll start with this table. This is so freaking precious. Oh my God. A Hawthorne? <laughs> Phoenix, you at least know what a rose is. Come on now. Come on now. Everybody knows what a rose is. Speaking of roses, this is so pretty. This looks like what like most girls aged six to ten would decorate like an online boutique. Like when we all used to play computer games, because everybody played computer games growing up, right? <laughs> online like this is how you would decorate it in, like a barbie dreamland like this is freaking hilarious i love it it's a beautiful winter wonderland out there girls god i wish to miss the winter can't wait for it to come back can't wait it is literally so hot outside it's not even funny can you can you specify which which ones fall in which category for me Okay. To be fair, if somebody said there was snow outside and I got excited and there wasn't, I would also be pissed. So that's kind of valid. I kind of love? I kind of love. That's so nice. That's so nice. We love a private moment. We love an intimate setting. All right, let's get to it, y'all. Yep. That looks like a coffee stain if I've ever seen one. Uh-huh. Shouldn't, sh should go without saying, but yes. Okay. <laughs> Maya said, Phoenix, it's free coffee. Why wouldn't I lick it? Okay. I think that's everything over here. Let's slide back. This is so precious. Who is this? Oh, no dialogue either? T. Okay. Yep. French is not even a language I've remotely thought about trying to learn. Like, 
keys. Oh. Yeah, there is, isn't there? It looks like a magazine article of some sort. Oh, a sports paper. Oh. A little doodle. MC Bomber? That's not MC Hammer. Okay. Okay, whoa. Whoa. Okay, so obviously Maya's dialogue, you know what? I can actually change that temporarily real quick. Okay. Okay. So we have $100,000, assuming that's dollars, there's no dollar sign, but 100,000 scratched out. We have 500,000 scratched out. MC Bomber circled with an arrow pointing to the 100,000. A bomb. <laughs> Okay. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And then a, a, a sheriff, a, a robber, a superhero, something in the bottom left corner. Maybe. I mean, that's my assumption. Probably the artist or whatever that the CD was talking about. Okay. There we go. We can see them a little better now. Is that a cape? What, what is he holding? He looks like he's holding baguettes. Wait, that's really funny. He looks like he's holding baguettes. I don't think he is, but. Wait! Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. I was like, mask to mask? Okay. It's from December 3rd. How interesting. Sure is. Okay. Oops. Changing this back now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Parisian frocks, period. Sure did. And we will. And we will. Them. <laughs> I don't know Jack Jacquez. That's how you spell the name Jacquez. That's that's probably not what that was trying to say. That's funny. Okay. the poopery. <laughs> like, you know what this feels like? It feels like I'm playing like a multitasking restaurant game on, on my computer. Again, that's what this looks like to me. And I freaking love it. Maybe that's why I love it so much. The nostalgia. It's giving nostalgia magical boxes that spits out money. That's one way to describe it. Okay. All right. I think that's everything over here, you guys. Dang, I was really hoping to meet Mr. Armstrong. Or at least get a, you know, get some tea on this photo here. But doesn't look like we're getting that right now. So, all right. We do have to work with what we have. And that involves going back to the detention center to present our little sports paper we found. Ooh, I can check it. Oh, sweet. This is a clear picture of it. Why does that, like, low, 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 low key look like Master Master? Or, like, an, a really poor attempt to draw him? Like, doesn't that look like the little brooch? And those look like his little shoulder pads? Huh. And, no, wait, that is Master Ma Guys, the hat with the feather. Okay, no, th that's weird. That's really freaking weird. Really freaking weird. Maggie. I need you to focus. That's not why we brought this to you. <laughs> Jesus. R.I.P. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, confirmed. <laughs> I 
No, Maya. Try again. Next time. I have no idea how the music industry works, Maggie. I could not tell you. <laughs> that doesn't need to be taken out of context. Okay, thank you, Maya. May have. Or the killer. Or the killer. I'm sorry, was it not stepped up before, Maya? I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Okay. What did we get out of that? right or am I making that up I can never keep these years straight and we all know what happened in 2001 or or most of the the US watchers should that's a little concerning okay I know this is not a US game but that was just a lot okay all right yeah yeah we should okay I think this is a new profile since we were here last she's not the only one Maya yep Wow, that's a big claim. Big claim. Okay. Where? Oh, okay. I have to say, what the heck y'all want me to do? Bonjour, Armstrong? Okay. Okay. No. Hold on. I have to see this better again. <laughs> it's, you know what's really throwing me off? It's the super, super pink, girly, feminine, blush, lipstick, glimmer in the eyes look. And then the massive muscles. Like, it's just really taking me for a twirl, for a whirl, for a swirl. It's taking me a lot of places. And then the beard is kind of epic. This is a lot for me. Very interesting hair everywhere. I'm talking eyebrows, mustache, everything. This is very interesting. Hi, I'm guessing you're Mr. Armstrong? Look at this face. Like a kitten rejected by its own mother. You are fatigued, no? Do French people roll their R's? You need this. What do I need? An aromatic bath oil melange of La Noël and La Luz. I can't, I can't, I can't. La Neroli and La Rose? Okay, I'll take it. The bottle is stunning. Oui, oui. <laughs> and voila, okay. Listen, I'll take it. I love a bath, I love a bath product. Uh-huh, that's me, La Monsieur. First of all, 
I have a very stressful job. We can't all work in a bakery, okay? Second of all, not all of us have the money or time to have as much work done as you, Mr. Armstrong. Don't, don't talk about my face. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much for your thoughtfulness. Truly invigorating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, one of us is a lawyer, but it's close enough. Okay, so you do know who I am. Okay, so whoever is cosplaying me apparently did a really great job because this man thinks that I'm the same person in court as well. Okay, we have a name, Gene Armstrong. Okay, pun. Obviously he has strong arms. I, isn't Jean a French word? I wonder what Jean is in French, if that's a French word. I'm guessing that's the pun. pun. Jean Armstrong. I am strong arms. <laughs> okay. What are his teeth? What is going on? I'm sorry, no. I also have to zoom in on that. I just have to. There's just so much going on. I have to. Sir. Dentist. Immediately. Okay. Y'all, he insulted my face. It's only right. All right. Tell me about Trebien, Mr. Armstrong. Okay. Three good. <laughs> but that's Spanish. Yeah. What is it in French? Very good. Okay. 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 So Bien is still good in French. Interesting. Exactement. The atmosphere is very good. The cuisine is very good. Phoenix, it's a crime scene. Ah. Mmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Advertisement. You're, you're, you're a jack of all, a gene of all trades, we should say. Aromatherapy, Maya. Come on, give it the times. <laughs> okay. Armstrong, what happened? Okay, would love to hear your side of this. Right? Okay, we have a time now. One in the afternoon. Okay. Right. Okay. And where was Maggie? Right, but where? Guys, the killer obviously escaped. Like, why is this so far-fetched? This is why you need to have security cameras. Just saying. Old man. Okay, well, at least it's not old bag. So, different old person. Yeah, tell me about this old man. Okay. Confirmed. Another customer. A regular. Okay. 
Well, that's that's a whole that's a whole different situation, Armstrong. Yeah, y yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm like I I don't understand French, so I I hey I'll take your word for it. Okay, so that's all the tea he's gonna give us. Let's present some things. Oh. Thank you, Armstrong. Thank you. <laughs> that doesn't sound like me at all. <laughs> okay. Okay. Heard, so I heard. Oh! Wow. Very cool and so handsome. Okay. I'm scared. Okay, let's get to the profiles. Okay. Oh, period. Period. <laughs> oh, I think she's occupied. I think she's busy, but thank you so much. Good jeans. You know what? I don't know how I thought Je ne sais quoi was spelled, but it would not have been that. It would not have been that. <laughs> Period. L listen, we love to hear it. Oh, Maya, don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Guys, what did he say? Oh my god. Okay, no. I have to look that up because I don't know what this man's saying. Okay. What does mace mean? French to English. But. Okay. Okay. That means but. And then we have Q U apostrophe E S T dash C E. Who is it? Okay, but who is it? Who is it? Hold on, hold on. C apostrophe E S T. Okay, cest at the very end means it is. So who is it? That it is. Okay, so what is felicitations? Congratulations, but who is it? That it is, or whatever I just said? I don't know. That did not help me, unfortunately. <laughs> Hopefully at least one of you guys watching are French and can help me with the translations down below. <laughs> okay, Maggie. Correct. Reasons. Just reasons. Oh, you're aware of that. Okay, that's cute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After something like what? Oh God. Okay, we'll be back to that. 39. Très bien's owner and chef, a witness in the case who was also into aromatherapy. Love that. Mm -hmm. 
It's hard to imagine, I know, but I was an apprentice for five years in the gay Paris. What? What does that mean? I don't know what he's saying. Okay. Sure. New prompt just dropped. Maggie's motive. Hmm. Hmm. I just realized this is still on high. I do like it on low. I do. Oh god, here we freaking go. Okay, first like lock just dropped. First like lock of the case. Okay. What do you mean it's gone? Phoenix, what are you talking about? Hello? How? Didn't he die? Oh, we're talking about the old man again. Vitamin square. Okay. So sorry. My Magatama is gone. Y'all, that is not okay. That is not good at all. My god. Okay. Well, we've already examined everything. I guess we can just make sure there's nothing else over here now. Okay. Yeah, that's really bad, actually. But let's go to this vitamin square. Wow. This is actually kind of cute. I mean, the name's a little strange for it to just be a bunch of fruits, but all right. Let's see him. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, I hate that. I don't want any more body parts that jiggle. I don't want that. I've had enough. I've had enough. And he's just going to keep doing it. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, you know what? No. Get away from me. I need a break from you already. All right. No sliding here. So just one screen. Got some cherries, some little oranges, little mandarin vibe. This place is so fruity. <laughs> Okay, got a little banana, got a little sandbox. The banana looks like a, oh no, it's not a teeter-totter. It's just one, a one person back and forth, we'll call it. Cause I don't know what, what that's called, honestly. Okay, iron fillings. That's oddly specific. Why? Why? <laughs> I'm sure you do, Maya. Nope. I'm good. Thank you so much. Okay. Taken care of. What about these birds? Aw. <laughs> okay. 
I like the music. We got a oh job listings. A lot of magazines in this case. Old man, does this look like a trash can to you? Why are you assuming somebody threw it away? What is this dude's issue? Okay. Great. Not anymore. One man's trash is another man's evidence. Alright. We truly do have an apple slide, which is really cute. Got a little strawberry playhouse situation, a little water fountain. Okay. I think that's every- oh. True. True. Okay. We love vitamin C over here. I think that's everything now, officially. Uh, Alright, let's get this over with. I- Oh! Thank God he stopped that. Okay, let's actually take a look at him. He has the same thing right here that Kane Bullard did. I wonder if there's a relation. What is the bow for? What is what is he holding? Why is he holding those seeds and he's chucking at the, the pigeons? It's just, why? Why does he look like that? I don't like how he looks at all. Oh, here we go. Okay. Doing what? What is wrong with this man? Oh, God. I can already see you going to jail at the end of this trilogy, dude. It's not giving what you think it's giving. I'm sure you don't. What is a disgrace, old man? I have someone in mind that I think you would be extremely compatible with. I have to set you guys up. I mean, respectfully, I can see your entire neck and your elbow, so it's not really looking too modest over there either, sir. I do not like him at all. I'm sorry, aren't you a regular? It's a French restaurant! It's not- it's, then don't- then, then go anywhere else, old man. Anywhere else. Like, what is wrong with you? God, uh, uh. Why does he take his arm out of his sleeve when he's mad? That's so weird. Bro. What is this guy's issue? Uh, I hope he does not testify. I do not want to talk to him any more than I have to. I know he's going to, but God. Question of the day. He's senile, dude. If only we had the Magatama. That's such an issue. I'm really not happy that we lost that. Maya, you didn't even know anything about it earlier. Shut up. Ugh. Okay, well that was unfortunately not even a little bit helpful. I doubt this is going to be any more helpful, but let's do it. Okay. 
To be expected. To be expected. Just to be safe. Yep. Okay, great. He wasted so much of my time. Love that. Goodbye. Jeez. We literally got nothing new to present. I guess I could examine around here just to make sure that the Magatama's not around here, perhaps. I don't know why this magazine rack keeps being unclicked. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay. That's good again. This music makes me happy after that terrible experience I just had with that old man. Hate him. Okay. Let's actually move and make sure nothing over here has changed. Okay. Well, uh, back to the detention center. Is there anything new? I think we already presented this, right? Oh no, the job listings is new. I forgot about that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Wait, Maya did have an apron on in the picture. That would be funny if she ended up working there. Okay. That did not give me any new information though. So let's actually go back and present that to Homeboy. Not looking. She's busy. No. 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 Seriously? Seriously? Now I lost my Magatama and my assistant? <sighs> Bro, I'm sorry. What the heck is going on right now? I was kind of joking. Like, kind of joking. God, okay. This is a lot. This is a lot already. Okay. Okay. This is ridiculous. This is... Why? This is so dumb. Why? How does that make any sense at all? She better be working undercover because if she's just working for funsies, like, what are we doing? Thank God, Gumshoe. No. No. I don't know what the fork is going on, dude. Literally just started. Oh, well, great. Okay, wonderful. Of course it has. How did you get a retrial, Gumshoe? Duh. A coffee poisoning? You know Godot's on the case. That's gonna actually be quite fun. Not oh him. Ugh, Gumshoe. She won't be. She won't. Okay, thank you. Go yeah, you can't do that. You cannot lock me up because my client was found guilty. That's not how that works. Oh, tell me. Just tell. Just talk. Just tell me. Just tell me. Ah. Uh no, guys, look at his face. Uh-uh. Weird, weird, weird vibes. Y my funny looks, or are you looking in a mirror? I... 
I didn't say anything happened, Gumshoe. Why are you getting so defensive? Oh my god. A little crush? Huh. I think big old Gumshoe has a big old crush. Jesus. <laughs> I'm done. Sure, Gumshoe. Because nobody knows about it. Okay. Okay! We have a name. Glen Elg? Glen Elg? Glen Elge? Oh, his name is. I don't know what the word is. Not an anagram. Whatever the word is for when something's the same forwards and backwards, like the word race car. That's what his name is. Is that the pun? Why? A computer programmer. Okay. Interesting. Okay. That's what she said, but Armstrong seems to think very differently. What was the motive? Okay, Gumshoe, I'm sorry. I thought you cared. My apologies. Sorry for, for thinking that. My God. Okay, tell me about the investigation. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, that's true. It's technically it's a closed case. What gumshoe? Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's just being honest. Contradictions. Right. But does that contradict something else she said, or does that just contradict other people's accounts of it? Right? Everyone else being Armstrong in the kook at the park. Right. That was for the portable radio in the front pocket of his hoodie. So he was listening to music or he was recording the conversation or what? My phony? Oh my God. Okay. Interesting. We know that's true. Apparently he's hiding my Magatama too. All right, so that's it for him. Let's present anything new. Oh, this is our first time seeing him, so we can present everything. Was it that bad? Holy crap. Okay. So this is somebody who has it out for Maggie. I wonder if this person actually has nothing to do with me and everything to do with Maggie. He knew Maggie enough to know that she would trust Phoenix 
So that's why she impersonated me to gain her trust, represent her, and then have her found guilty. So who has beef that deep with Maggie? Interesting. Correct. Yeah. Great. Very helpful, Gumshoe. Very helpful. You're gonna borrow this paper for a bit. <sighs> okay, Gumshoe. Y'all y'all love the handwriting analyses here. <laughs> okay. Great. Alright, nothing about the job listings. Fair, fair. <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot. I literally cannot. <laughs> okay, profiles. Great question, Gumshoe. Great question. Yeah, it's a long story. Oh, oh, okay. O okay. <laughs> we low earners have to stick together is crazy. Oh my god. Yep. I'm sure it was. Very freaking sketchy, you guys. I bet you Godot is behind this. I really do. I really think that. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Gumshoe. Gumshoe. Uh. Thank you, Gumshoe. So kind. <laughs> Jesus. Yep. What? I'm dead. Listen! Armstrong's just, uh, just trying to help everybody out, and I appreciate that. I do. I actually love that. I really do love that. <laughs> oh my god, bro. What are we talking about? Okay. Correct. Correct. Alright. Really? You have nothing to say about the victim? Okay. T. Well, that's everything there. Okay, so Glenn was 28, a computer programmer. Maggie had apparently never seen him before. Okay, well that- oh, the charming chef. Great! Well then give it to me anyway. I did that. I did. I did! I did that already! Okay, it's very interesting how it seems like this case they're trying to do a lot of hinting and leading like, ooh, I better go learn everything about this sports newspaper that I can. Ooh, I better go try to learn everything about the chef that I can. Kind of interesting. Okay. I think we're good here. So I guess we'll go back to 
très bien. Oh, God. Is this where Maya's gonna come in her little apron? The heck was that? Hello? Bro. Maya, you genuinely look freaking adorable. I'm gonna be so honest. Like, even better than Maggie, truly. <laughs> Precious. Precious. Are we not gonna answer my question? Okay. All right. No. Who was that woman? Oh my god. Okay, Maya, let's let's do it. How you liking it? Yeah. So it, it, it's a busy job. <laughs> that's that's a smile, all right. Okay, lunch special. The twin tea set, so twenty dollars. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Bro, what is happening right now? <laughs> oh. Gift. <laughs> uh huh. And the gift. Oh my god. Oh, is that lobster? Prawns. Are prawns a French food? That feels French to me. What is going on? I, I just don't understand. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm sure. Why was the lunch special added to our evidence? Okay. Cost $20 despite how unbelievably bad it tastes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. What's in the kitchen? Oh yeah, we have to spy on him. I'm guessing we can now go to the kitchen. Do we have anything new to present to her? I guess we can present the lunch special. <laughs> and the job listings. Okay, cool. Oh, and our new victim. No? Okay. Can we move to the kitchen? Sweet. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Chop, chop, indeed. Okay, let's get to examining people. I don't think oyster sauce is French, is it? I associate that with Asian food. Okay, yeah, like... Ah. Hello? 
thank God. My Lord, what is happening? Yum. Do not start talking about cheesecake right now. Yum. Okay. <laughs> His perfume bottles? I'm dead. A bottle of poison, shall we say? How odd. Yeah, we should definitely borrow that. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Okay. Not great, guys. That's giving poison to me. Just saying. Clarice Armstrong's Bedtime Literature. Hmm. <laughs> Printemps. The two of them, like actors from a film. The coffee still undrugged. Sweet nothings over too soon on that sad Sunday morning. The foolish cocktail, so delicious. Take the last sip of your tea and I will know what to do. I must lie to you. I must. Were those poisoning instructions? Okay. <laughs> nothing. Literally nothing. And like, no, it's a kitchen. Respectfully, it's a kitchen and it feels unsanitary. It really does. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. This case is a mess already, y'all. I'm liking it so far, though. It's not giving third case syndrome to me yet. But then again, it's probably way too early to tell because... We all know that once you get into these things, things start changing, shall we say. Okay. It must be. Hmm. Oh, same thing. Okay, is that everything? Me thinks that is everything. Everything. Yep, looking like it. Okay. Sweet. So we found the bottle of poison in my Magatama. Great. Great. Back out we go. Okay. Nothing about that. And nothing about that. Interesting. All right. Where else can we go then? Let's go back to Vitamin Square, unfortunately. Oh. Oh, there's a bike here. Whose bike is this? What is going on? Oh my god. Satan? Okay, I'm sorry. No. Is this my doppelganger? I'm gonna pay for this? I didn't do anything! Dude, the only one that covered your saddle and crap is yourself. Why are you red? Oh my god, what is going on? Ugh! Ew! Ew! Ah! Ew! 
You know what? I take it back. I don't want a new cast of characters. You can bring the old ones back because these new ones are too much for me. <laughs> Who are you, dude? You're gonna round up a group of lawyers and then I'm gonna pay. Oh, so you know some lawyers. Who in particular are you gonna be rounding up, Satan? Like you don't know, dude. You literally copied my hair to a T. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Really? Really? Interesting. Interesting. So he's delusional. I thought this whole time he was imitating me. No, he thinks he's me. The, this is genuine. Okay. I, I have so many questions. I have so many questions. Ridden by my phony. Okay. God. Okay. Thank you, old man. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Uh, why is this undone again? Okay, now we have two Cyclops. T. Interesting. Okay, so the Cyclops on Armstrong was whether Maggie knew the victim, I believe, it, or and or something to do with the motive, but I think it was something like that. And then the old guy's Cyclops are whether he's a regular at the restaurant where the murder happened. Hmm interesting interesting okay okay nothing about the lunch special nothing about the poison nothing about the scooter what about our victim nothing about the victim okay do we have enough or any evidence actually to prove he's a regular no so don't think we can do anything here Maya, look at this scooter. Nothing. Okay, okay. Where else can we go? And what else can we do? Anybody else in the kitchen? Nope, okay. Nobody back at the detention center. Nobody at my office. Ha. Hi, gummy gums. Perfect. What 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 do you got for me? What do you got? Oh, okay, that was quick. Yep. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Hey, that's something. That is something. Yeah, you said that. Oh, uh, I have quite a bit I found in that restaurant, actually, Gumshoe. See, like, what are these hints? Like, two games in or three games in, three cases in is when you start giving me blatant hints like this. That's just so random. Like, I guess I'm not complaining. It's just, like, obvious stuff. It's like, obviously, I need to show him the bottle of poison I found. Not quite. Take this back to your lab and test it. Hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely you can, Gummy Guns. Same page. Same page. Okay. <laughs> 
his secret? What is his secret? Yeah. Please, I am all ears. Oh God. Besides today? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> half a million. Like this half a million that's scratched out on the right side. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so interesting. Okay. The owner of the loan is Tender Lenter. Good to know. Gumshoe, um, we also found my Magatama, by the way. But I'm guessing you don't care. Okay, no problem. What about this lunch special? Nope. What about the scooter? Nope. What about the sports paper you literally just gave to me? There we go. <laughs> Probably a second ago, you just said no doubt about it. Okay. Not good, not good. I've told y'all before in real life, handwriting analysis is incredibly unreliable. Like, oh God, okay. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Yeah, clearly. Okay. And then have we presented our victim? Or did he tell us about our victim, actually? That's okay. Either way, no dialogue. Okay. So we have this back now. We also have the loan contract, which I would love to confront Mr. Armstrong with if we get the opportunity. So let's move. Back to Trebien. Present it to Maya. Nope. What about this? Dang! Okay. Maybe we can get lucky and he's in the kitchen. Dang it! Okay. Back to Vitamin Park we go then. Vitamin Square. Oh, God. <sighs> Nothing. Interesting. So we do still have his psych lock to work with. No new dialogue with Maya. No one was in the kitchen. Nobody's here. And then just want to make sure I didn't miss any dialogue here. Nope. Okay. I Guys, the only thing we can work with is a Cyclop then. All right then. All righty. Let's go back to Vitamin Square again. And now that we have our Magatama... All right, here we go. <sighs> Three locks, baby. Oh, baby. All right. Ugh. All right, guys. Full life bar. Full life bar. Goal is to go into the next video with a full stack of life. That is always the goal. Why are you a regular at a restaurant that you dislike so much? Oh, well, that's an easy contradiction. know the food <laughs> the food <laughs> literally literally it sure is apps 
absolutely atrocious. Hmm? One, that explains a lot. Two, you being rich does not make the price of things cheap. Just because you can afford them does not make them cheap. <laughs> You're just rich, but it's still expensive. <sighs> Must be freaking nice, old man. Must be freaking nice. Oh. Oh. Ha. He just looks through them for funsies, Phoenix, just so he can imagine himself ever having to lift a finger. Yeah. Yeah. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Uh huh. The, the Java Chino? That sounds delicious. Uh, hey, either one. <laughs> Unfortunately, I know this game is really old and back then that was atrocious, but God, in these days, that's unfortunately typical. My Lord. Yeah, it's rough times right now. It's rough times. Huh. <laughs> that place has free newspapers to read? Really, we've been told the complete opposite. Who's they? Okay, now what do we have that'll prove this, though? We have this magazine clipping, and then we have this sports paper. I mean, neither one of them says that these aren't free papers. Where did we get this magazine from? It was before we ever went to Tre Bien. So... I don't think it was this. So I'm thinking it was this. Okay, cool. Period. Bust that thing wide open, baby. Bust it wide up. Yup. Yup. Really? Really, old man? You're not hiding anything? Anything? Nothing? Oh. Oh, this is probably gonna be a person. Has to be. Let's make sure. Yeah, has to be a person. Maggie? Or Armstrong? But probably Maggie. Okay, all right. Oh, God. Yeah, her outfit. Bro, what? <laughs> Hello? Not how I was expecting that to end, but okay, I'll take it. Getting back into this for the 15th time, Tre Bien Regular. Gorgeous. Okay, so glad we can all be here together. Well, we actually saw Satan earlier and he didn't look like you, but you can be a double two if you want. 
Yeah, so I've heard. How old do you think I am, old man? 20 years? He's saying I'm gonna be an old man in 20 years. That's crazy. Whoa, great, we have a name, ladies and gents. Victor Kudo, Victor Kudo. Victor Kudo. I don't know, let me know if there's a pun. Okay, I like him a little bit more that, that we have a name. Like it just feels like a little bit more personal now. This man is 68 years old and just told me in 20 years, I'll be just like him. Okay. All right. Yep. Yep. I'm sure we'll be putting him on the stand. <laughs> okay, when will that be? My God, okay. And I'm guessing none of this has changed. Okay, all right. Let's move. Hopefully that triggered something else somewhere else. Please, Armstrong, be in the kitchen. Dang it. Huh. Okay. Let's be careful then. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So nobody's at the t detention center or my office. Nothing new to present to Gumshoe, I don't think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's the one that just gave. Oh, we can present the profile, I guess, technically. Yeah. <laughs> that he is. That he is. Yeah. Find his weakness? What? Okay. Interesting, interesting. Back to the detention center, back to the restaurant. Yeah, he sure is. See, he's sure feeding them all right. Period. I don't know because you used to work for me 10 minutes ago. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 I see what we're doing. I see what we're doing here. Ugh. This feels a little exploitive, but hey. All right, here we are. Well, well, well. Yeah, just breathe through it, Maya. Breathe through it. <laughs> oh. Huh? Huh? The heck? Oh, gosh. Oh my, bro. <sighs> Mia did not have to do all that, bro. She did not have to do all that. She really said, excuse me, sir. Like Mia, Mia, put those things away. I am absolutely deceased. <laughs> We're really pulling out all of the stops here. This is ridiculous. Not the government name. This is, this is, look at his eye. Oh my God, you guys. This is ridiculous, like actually. 
Okay, starting from scratch. Yes. Completely different person. This is so freaking funny. Sounds like it. Did you? Uh huh. What terrible days those must have been. <laughs> oh my god. This is so embarrassing. job, Phoenix. Just let her work. Just let her work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An ex-con? Okay. Huh. Yeah, let's get into this record. Let's get into this record. Bro, I need you to focus, Kudo. He steals things from his customers, like money? Why? Why? What is the benefit of that? Okay. Oh, he was arrested at his restaurant? And he continued running the restaurant? Not a haiku. Con convicted before. A wicked man or woman. Repeat offender. That's a haiku. 575, baby. Wow. Wow. Will do. Will do. <laughs> Girl, you have done more than enough. Thank you so much for your service. So freaking funny. Listen, good on freaking Maya. She knew what time it was, and we appreciate that greatly. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let me confront that man, please. Ugh. What? What? Where is your boss? Thank God. I'm like, hello? Ah, okay. Sure did. And I want to get into him. I want to get into him, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, so nothing new here. Before we do that, I just want to present some of the new stuff we got. If we can. Then put your glasses on. <laughs> I'm sure this is going to be the response to everything, but I like to be thorough. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, we already talked about this. But not since we got the handwriting sample done. Huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. All right, let's get into it. Let's just get into it.
Look at his face now. <laughs> all right, you guys. It's for all the marbles. Come on, Armstrong. Give it to me. Give it to me. What? A lottery ticket? Okay. Really? Let me guess. It went missing. Yeah. How coincidental that a lottery ticket disappears in your restaurant for the exact same amount of money that you owe to a loan shark. How peculiar. That certainly can't have anything to do with this. Oh, that was Maggie's motive. Maggie's motive. Yep. Not everything. Ooh, getting right into it. Um, I don't know. Him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, pfft. well, that was easy. <laughs> I have no evidence. See, I'm telling y'all, Master Mask out! Oh, this case is weird. It's a weird one, it's a weird one, it's a weird one. Oop. A poem indeed. <laughs> Perfect, well this is the one for you. Correct. Correct. Mon Dieu. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're the liar, Armstrong. Seriously? Oh, I have proof. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me think about this. Because this was our proof. This is the loan contract, but this isn't proof that he's stolen from a customer. I mean, this is proof, potentially, but hold on. <laughs> this could be proof that he's stolen my money by feeding me inedible food, but I don't think that's where they're going. <laughs> could it be the Nagatama? Sure does. Yeah, guess where I found it? Guess where I found my Magatama Armstrong? Yeah. Yeah. Break it. <laughs> but what reason could I possibly have for stealing the lottery ticket? Oh, I will show you. I will show you happily. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm sure you are. Just a timid little girl. Innocent. We, we. Like taking candy from a baby girl. Yep, sure are. Ah. To the tune, all right. All of it. Every single one. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh-huh. Yeah. Thank you so much for playing. Come back anytime. All right. 
Finally! Talk to me, Armstrong. Right? That was my question, and why did you think Maggie knew that, unless you told her? Uh, okay. Cool, because why would you ever do that in public? That's when you take a deep freaking breath and you immediately walk swiftly but 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 calmly to your car. You drive home and then you explode because then otherwise you're gonna get robbed or worse, poisoned. <laughs> Stupid, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Really? You didn't? You didn't? You took a non-winning ticket. Oh, 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 oh. Good job! Good job! You know what? You know what? This this is a place that sells coffee. I'm I can't be too mad at him for being here. What do you want, Gado? What it, what do you need? What what can I do for you? Because you're stressing me out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Armstrong, shut up. So who had the right one, Godot? Who had the right one? Uh-huh. A dog. Period. Armstrong, shut up! Let me guess, was it found on Maggie? Okay, I don't personally like throwing evidence away, but sure. Okay, okay. <sighs> Definitely. She's been through more than enough. Oh, okay. Lot to unpack here. So we have a man who was poisoned, a man who won the lottery and apparently screamed it out loud in public like a freaking dummy and was poisoned and killed. Cool. We have the killer who Maggie saw, but nobody else saw in specific uh, old man whose name I already forgot because we literally just found out. And Armstrong both specifically said that there was not two people at the table. We have a man who's pretending to be me, who genuinely thinks he is me, which is not Godot apparently. So my whole Godot theory might actually not come to fruition in this case, but I'm still on to him. And we also have that dark figure woman who came and went just as quickly, whose name we didn't happen to catch. There's a lot to unpack as usual. It's an interesting case so far though. I'm liking where we're going. I think it was set up decently well and I'm very excited to get into day one of the trial because I truly have no idea what to expect. Until then, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am so glad that we get to do a whole nother case together and I am sure it's going to be a good one. So with that being said, you're definitely going to want to come back to the next video where we do get into the first day of the trial. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye and go thrive.